Well, he said he's not doing any more uh, of those uh, lethal weapons. So, uh, like I said, he played. Uh, <laughs> you all, I remember one scene in that movie where uh, that uh, that guy was drowning there, and uh, he. Uh, he goes underneath the water. Well, first he uh, he was calling for him. He said, "Where are you?" And they were supposed to have such a a bond together. He jumps in the water and saves his master that was drowning. <laughs> Very interesting scene there. If you all know how to decode what you see, what you're looking at. Uh, there's quite a few other people also I said I mentioned uh Will Smith and uh uh Den Snell, Denzel Washington also as well. And uh we might get into him uh coming up next. He's the one they gave us the dog biscuit for um uh, training day. And uh He's been in uh, quite a few other movies. Actually, I want to I want to read uh, a list because <laughs> it's very interesting. The uh, the movies he's been in. Now he started off. Uh, there was a movie. Uh, I'm trying to think of that name. He was playing a uh, car- carbon copy. You ought to look at that movie. If that's not some boule stuff, what the hell is? He was in the movie John Q, which gross actually grossed uh, seventy one million dollars. He's house Negro. His top movie, uh, I think, his gross was uh, American Gangster. This is where he played or portrayed the, uh, I forgot his name, the guy that he's supposed to portray, that uh, he was the big drug dealer that, uh, you know, the CIA had working for him, that uh, brought a lot of coke during the 70s in the U.S. shores from overseas during that Vietnam War. And uh, Frank Lucas, that's his name. He played uh, Frank Lucas. And uh, also the Out of Time, where he was a uh, a corrupt cop in that movie that uh, takes, he had stole some money or something. And, uh, you know, the people were looking for the money that was evidence and he was tied into it and uh the devil in the blue dress and virtuosity i spoke on that movie uh before what that represented of course crimson tide malcolm x you know all these i'm gonna tell you <laughs> out of time and mississippi uh masila that's where he was Messing with an Indian woman, and on uh, out of time he had a Mexican woman. I think out of his whole career, it might have been two movies where he's <laughs> playing where he's into uh, the black woman. I think the Book of Eli, he had a uh, a European woman following him. Uh, the mother, uh, the bone collector, he was paralyzed. Playing a good house Negro boy in the Bone Collector, helping his master solve <laughs> murders of other Europeans getting killed. This guy here is one of the biggest houses of boule Negroes in Hollywood. Denzel Denzel Washington. Remember the Titans, where he plays a black coach. 
you know, trying to get everybody to hold hands and whatnot. <laughs> More house. The d- definition of house Negro. Go look it up. Yeah, I shouldn't. I shouldn't have to add any more than that. You know, just if you just know the definition or how to how to define uh, define house Negro. Yeah, the, the book of Eli was okay. It had some some information in it. Now, some of these guys just until recently, and Morgan Freeman's another person. You know, he's been in movies where he played uh, God and whatnot, you know, symbolically. He played the, they hinted to you all subliminally and deep impact of a black president. That was programming you, you all back in the 90s. With Morgan Freeman and uh, that seller from the 24 uh, series. They know what they do when they do little stuff like that. Just see how you all would react. And then when the real thing comes, they'll see you all flocking to what's been already implanted in you. Just like I mentioned uh, before about true lies and other uh, anti, so-called anti-terrorist movies that were pretty much prepping people back in the 90s. In the movie uh, True Lies and quite a few other movies, uh, a little far apart, uh, where actually they were Arab ch- terrorists before even 9 11 got started. They always put the movie in plan in your mind and you're thinking, so then when, <laughs> when the real uh, event that they want to, uh, you know, have you support them on, is already there. It's just like how they know how you react to your, your little gas prices. So then all they got to say is, it's because of Saddam or it's because of the uh, Afghans or, or the uh, Iranians, in other words. Or now they say it's because of Gaddafi in Libya. So support us <laughs> if you want lower gas prices. You know, these people always systematically hijack your thinking. If you don't know how to think. Now, if you know how to think, you read these people like a book. If you don't know how to how to uh, think, then they think for you. That's not what's taking place. That's what's been taking place for quite a long time now. Somebody said uh, Chris Rock had a movie where he played uh, the first black president. It was a silly movie, though. However, it's it's, uh, symbolic or it's subliminal. That's the fact of the matter. (laughs) They know what they're doing. All of these destruction movies and all that stuff, they're prepping your mind for that, too. When you when you're gonna see certain things, and it's gonna be so much somewhat of an, an expectation because you know you've already have it in your mind and your in your thinking. You're not gonna see anything wrong with it. So you think it's just gonna be some kind of light show or some kind of uh, some type of movie. When it's going to be reality, or it is reality. This is very real. He just tries to put his movie or his view before the actual real deal takes place. 